Whatever it is that you're wearing, I can guarantee you that even if you just follow one of these style tips, it will make all the difference to your outfit. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Faye, I'm a personal stylist, and today I'm sharing with you my top five tips to help you feel more put together instantly. I'm so excited to be sharing these tips with you because they are effortless, they're simple, they're easy, and they really do make all the difference with your outfit. A little disclaimer before we get started, definitely apply whatever you're most comfortable following. It does come down to you, your personal style, as well as the pieces that you're wearing. But for the most part, every time I share these style tips with my audience, they always return to me saying how much these small tips have changed how they approach their styling. Tip number one is the tuck. And I know that this style tip is everywhere. I feel like everyone talks about it and there's a good reason why and that is because this style tip is really effective in helping you feel put together and polished without putting in that much effort. All you're doing is you're tucking in your top. And again, it really does come down to the style of top that you're wearing. And the technique of the tuck really does depend on you and how comfortable you feel as well. There are different ways to tuck and I'm not going to go through all of them in this video because if I did, we will be here for a very long time. But if you are interested in learning how to tuck, please do let me know in the comments so I know to create a video dedicated to the tuck. For the sake of this example, I'm just going to do a full tuck and as you can see, it already has made a big difference. When you tuck in your top, not only do you put in that little bit of effort to appear more put together, you're also styling your outfit. You're bringing attention to your waistline, which is the slimmest part of your body, and in turn, you are accentuating your overall body shape. Note that if I were to wear this t-shirt out, not only does it look like it's too big for me, but the shirt is sitting at my hips which is the widest part of the body. So in turn, that's bringing all of the attention to my widest part of the body. I've lost my body shape completely. And I also know that I didn't put in any effort into this outfit. Again, whether you wanna do a full tuck or a half tuck or a side tuck, doing the smallest tuck can make all the difference. Number two is to fold the sleeves of your top if you're wearing a long sleeved item. Now you can do that by either just folding your sleeve or my personal favorite is to scrunch the sleeves. And you can keep your scrunch sleeves in place with a hair tie. By folding or scrunching your sleeves, not only are you removing that excess material, you are showing some skin, which brings balance back to your overall look. It elongates your arms and the folded sleeve sits closest to your waistline. In turn, bringing our attention to the slimmest part of your body and accentuating your overall body shape. I particularly love the scrunch sleeve method. Having the scrunch really does help you achieve that kind of laid back style without appearing like you put too much effort or thought into how the sleeves were pulled up. So you kind of do look like you know what you're doing even though all you really did was scrunch the sleeves up. But in turn, it does help you achieve a more flattering, put together look and it does make you look like you've put in a little bit of effort into your overall outfit. Similarly to the sleeve, tip number three is to fold your pants. Again, it does depend on the type of pant that you're wearing, the length of the pant, but also the kind of look that you're trying to achieve. But for the most part, folding your pant, just like your sleeve, helps you elongate your look. It flatters your overall silhouette and it also helps you appear like the item was made for you. And that's what you want to achieve at the end of the day is a put together outfit of pieces that look like they were made for you. So think of it like visiting a tailor and having your pieces tailor made and fitted perfectly to your body shape. This is what we're trying to achieve, except we're skipping the step of visiting the tailor. But essentially what you want to do is you want to still style your pieces and make you look like you've put in that little bit of effort. The length really does make a difference by taking your outfit from looking overall frumpy, like you're drowning in the material versus an outfit that has been styled to your body shape to help you achieve a more put together and tailored outfit. Number four would be to add jewelry. Adding jewelry is a quick and easy style tip to help you appear more put together and polished and also to help you express your personality. So whether you wanna go bold and bright and add a statement piece or whether you wanna go classic, simple and timeless, it really does depend on you and your personal style and the kind of look that you want to achieve. It really does does add an extra element to your outfit and it does help you feel a lot more put together 
as if you put in that little bit of effort into your outfit. I like to keep things pretty classic and timeless here and I have everyday pieces that I wear and when I don't wear them I do feel like I didn't put in the effort and a little more relaxed. So definitely take the time to experiment with jewelry because as I said the smallest tweak can make all the difference to your outfit and to how you feel. And lastly is a tip that isn't necessarily related to your outfit but it still does affect your overall look and that is to do your hair. Hair is something that can often be missed, especially if you are putting a lot of attention to your outfit, but you have to remember that your personal style is reflected through your whole body, so from your head down to your toes. So your hair does matter. If you are wearing the most styled outfit, but your hair hasn't been touched and you haven't put any effort into your hair, that can really make a difference to your overall look. Whereas instead, if you just quickly run your comb through your hair, and my ultimate favorite would be to just slick your hair back completely. In doing so, it helps you achieve a tidier look. There isn't much clash then between your hair and your outfit, and it really does bring a lot more attention to your outfit. I know for me, every time I have my hair slicked back, it really does make me feel like powerful and productive and like I mean business. So definitely take the time to put effort into your hair. As I said, you don't have to do too much. If you don't feel like styling it or running a hot tool through your hair, simply pull it back so that it's in a nice, slick and tidy hairdo. And then that way you do appear polished, you look put together, you really look like you put in the effort into your hair when really all you did was just slick it back and get it out of the way. But spending less than a minute to just slick your hair back really can make all the difference to your overall look. And there you have my top five tips to help you achieve a more put together look with the smallest effort. I'm telling you, no matter what you're wearing, even if you just apply one of these style tips, it can really make a difference to your overall look and ultimately how you feel about yourself and how you carry yourself throughout the day. We are completely simplifying how we approach styling these days. Remember that you don't have to get overly dressed up to look put together and the smallest tweaks can really make all the difference. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would love to know in the comment section below if there were any tips that really resonated with you or what tips you're excited to try or what tips you're already applying. That's it from me guys. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye!